Sangeeta Reddy, Senior Vice President of the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce of Vicky. Sangeeta, thanks very much. You know, uh, ahead of the MPC, the demand both from CII and Vicky was for a 100 basis point rate cut from the Reserve Bank, which was a tall ask anyway. But 25 basis points has happened. Is this really going to change the needle in any way? So I think uh, more than the actual reduction, it's an indication of a trajectory. And that's what we're looking at. That uh, we, we believe that it's not just the 25 basis points cut in the repo rate, but it's also the change in the, um, the, the rating, the calibrated tightening to neutral. All these are signals. And it's important for us to note that the monetary policy of the country should complement the fiscal policy. And in the fiscal policy, the biggest need of mm. this country and the economy is for us to generate consumption, demand and investments. So I think this is the beginning of a trajectory. It is industry's hope that this repo rate will be cut further, that interest rates will be further rationalized, because we have to enhance liquidity, boost consumption and investment. And ultimately, these are critical steps towards generating jobs. So very, very simplistically, the okay. monetary rate has to match the fiscal, the monetary policy has to match the fiscal policy and this is the need of the country. Well, the fiscal policy has provided a stimulus uh, and the monetary policy today has uh, uh, aided that effort as well. But Sangeeta, you know, what we heard from the governor, uh, the red flags that he's raised when it comes to, gr when he uh, talks about growth. Investment demand has declined in Q3. Rubby sowing has also been rather tepid in comparison to year on year as of today. Uh, secondly, there is a slowdown even as far as the services sector is concerned. What is the sense in industry now, uh, you know, in terms of business confidence, in terms of putting fresh money to work, uh, you know, or is, is the cost of capital too high and demand still muted? So clearly the cost of capital is high. I think also it's important to note that the CPI has, you know, under, also undershot on its targets. So if we look at that, the consumer price index, if we look at the consumption, all these are indications. And at the same time, the global markets are also not looking very uh, aggressive or active. So I believe steps need to be taken to avert a potential crisis. And this is a significantly good step, uh, which is hopefully a trajectory and there should be more to come in a similar direction. I think industry will respond to this change appropriately and uh, this will be something which will signal uh, uh, an acceleration in the economy. Okay, uh, my final question to you, Sangeeta. Uh, you know, on the back of what we heard in the budget with the fiscal stimulus and now with the monetary policy, uh, are, you, are you getting signs that we are perhaps going to see an uptick as far as demand is concerned? Is there any indication of uh, consumption starting to move higher? Uh, I believe that there will be an uptick in consumption because uh, clearly each of these uh, policies or subsidies have put money into individuals' hands. Whether it was the agricultural subsidy or the tax uh, uh, change, all these put money into people's hands. This should promote consumption. A combination of enhanced consumption with better industry policy and lower interest rate should do the trick. And well, I let's think hope that, that uh, it does do the trick. Sangeeta Reddy. And put together. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Sangeeta Reddy, the Vice President of FICI, okay, joining us ahead. today Thank to you. discuss the Thank implications you, of the rate cut announced by by the MPC. Thanks very much, Sangeeta, for joining us.